Hello and welcome back to the Ask Johnny channel. Indigenous people, that's right, indigenous people. Should they have more rights? And does anyone give a stuff whether they do or they don't? G'day Johnny, yeah, we've got a great letter here from Candlelight in Arizona. Hello to everybody in Arizona, keep watching us for Christ's sake, especially Candlelight. But Johnny, Candlelight says, Johnny, should indigenous people have more rights? That's a pretty short, sharp, uh, bloody question there, Johnny, should they? Indigenous people, Johnny. Do indigenous people need more rights? Well, I think they bloody do. But there's a thing that uh, a lot of people don't sort of remember, or I want to remember, is that the English people, yeah, the people of Scottish and the bloody English and the Welsh and all that bloody stuff, they're the indigenous people of England. Well, I suppose they are indigenous, yeah. They say Britain is a melting pot of culture. Each ingredient could represent a different way of life. But what if they don't mix together? And instead, the ingredients just sit there, waiting to be cooked. Are we really multicultural? Or do we just coexist? She can see the bloody problem. They're all just living in England, but she hasn't even got any white friends. I'm Stephanie, I'm 17 and grew up in Newham where white people make up the lowest percentage of the population in the UK. This is Jennifer and Marianne. Why don't we have any white friends? Our opportunity to mix with other people is a very low. We can easily identify like, like the black squad, the Asian squad, the white people squad. I don't think that's a coincidence. That's what I'm saying. Do you guys think that we live in a multicultural society? Definitely. But we're I'm very separated, very separated. London is probably the most diverse, one of the most diverse cities in the world, but within London, we're not really integrated yet. Because our school's like 90% black, do you think there's maybe like a tribal mentality between different ethnic groups? Are they getting lumbered with a whole lot of bloody people they didn't want in the first place or what? The English people? So are you saying that the people aren't mixing, Johnny? Are you? Is that what you're saying? And you have to ask yourself, Johnny, what's the reason for for immigration? What is it to, for so people can better themselves because they perceive that the country they're moving to is better than their own? Is that it? Yeah, well, I suppose you're right there. Well, if that's it, why aren't we working harder to make these bloody uh, shitbox countries uh, better in the first place? So maybe we'd want to move there and leave Johnny. So it's a long-term plan, Johnny, just to make every country in Africa just a bloody, uh, uh, bloody bit. Well, if that's the case, we've got to do more. But I'm not worried about that at the moment, Johnny. We're getting back to indigenous people. Yeah, I reckon if you took a poll of every indigenous person in the bloody world in all these countries, South America and bloody, yeah, well, just about everywhere, and you ask them, uh, you... how do you feel about millions more people coming into your own country? <laughs> <laughs> and I reckon they'd bloody all say they didn't want them. Just breaking into this beautiful documentary to ask whether you've subscribed or not to the channel. If not, why not? Well, yeah, that's true. And the thing is, Johnny, most of these bloody Western countries have all made these heartfelt apologies and all that sort of stuff. You've gone on and everyone's wept and said, oh, well, it'll never happen again. But we keep doing the same bloody thing to them. Obviously, this is highly unlikely, but it cannot be definitively disproven. So let me get this clear, Johnny. You're saying that the dominant white races have all made these apologies, apologies to these indigenous people. Uh, but it all, it all doesn't matter because we just keep doing the same bloody things we did to them like a hundred years ago? Is that what you're saying? Has anybody asked the bloody Aboriginal people of Australia, do they want more bloody people from China coming in? Have you asked them, Johnny? Well, I suppose if you're asked, I have, I've never asked them. Have you asked them, Johnny? Oh, I haven't. I've never asked them. I'm pretty bloody sure what their answer would be. So basically, Johnny, you've got indigenous people from around the world having no say in who actually comes into their country. Well, yeah, I, can, I can't imagine them saying they want more bloody people come. What we are talking about, we're talking about. We are saying the return of 
land territories that are ours, that are guaranteed under treaties that have been illegally taken by federal, state and county governments and individual land. No! The New Zealand government amended the Treaty of Waitangi Act to investigate historical grievances dating back to the Treaty of 1840. They began to realise that if you have a large indigenous population that's dissatisfied with fundamental aspects of the way you're running the country and the way you have run it, then the only way forward in a meaningful way is to address their grievances. That's telling them, Charlie. <laughs> because of Islamophobes, they hate every Muslim, they hate Islam, and they use any opportunity to get to demonize Muslims. Shui from the Guashashara tribe is defending the Amazon rainforest, the traditional homeland of his people. He and his warriors are fighting against illegal logging in northeastern Brazil at the Araribóia Indigenous Reserve. So smart ass! Whoa, what are you going to do about it? What do we do, Johnny? I think with every bloody country that's got uh, native indigenous people that are living in squalor or whatever, living out in the bloody jungle or out in the desert, uh, we should be taking more interest in what they have to say about their bloody country. What do you mean by that? Why don't we have an indigenous bloody prime minister or a president? That's just, that's just par for the court. Apart from kicking us all back to our own home countries, it wouldn't do any bloody harm to do that, Johnny. Oh, Johnny, you're not going to get any support for this one, I can tell. Couldn't do any bloody worse than half the fucking politicians we've got in now that are non-Indigenous. Well, I suppose if you're uh, going down that path, yeah. <laughs>